This is the multiplying binomials with algebra tiles activity tutorial. So the first thing is, is that there are six problems in this activity. And each time you get an act, uh, uh, each slide that you go to will look like this. So the first part of the problem is X plus two and it's purple. So we're, we need to talk about each piece of your algebra tiles. First of all is the X squared. The X squared is a big blue box. And X squared is what happens when you multiply X times X, it equals X squared. Then you have a green tile and the green tile is your X, right? And then last but not least is the yellow square and the yellow square is a positive one. So when we look at our problem, the first part of our problem is purple and it says X plus two. So I'm gonna represent the X with a green X and I'm gonna slide it over to the purple part. So I'm gonna put X first. And then the second part of the purple binomial is two. So that means that I would slide two boxes, two ones, because one plus one equals positive two. So that's the purple part of our problem. Now we're gonna focus on the pink part of our problem and we're gonna drag it to the pink area. So we have an X, so I'm gonna use a horizontal one this time, X, and then we have plus three, so I'm gonna use three tiny ones, one, two, and three. So now what happens in the white space in the middle is we wanna focus on what we think would match up and fit in the white space. So if I crossed the, the X and the X, what would fit into this space right here? Well, that would be an X squared. It fits perfectly in the space where the X and the X crosses. So where the X and the one cross, what would fit in that space is an X, which makes sense because X times one is one X. And then I would do the same thing for the next two of those. X times one is one X, and then X times one is another one X. So now we're gonna move on to the bottom. And when we move on to the bottom, we're gonna think the same way that we were thinking before. What times this green X up here times this one would fit into this space, this rectangular space down here? Well, it would be another X, this time a horizontal X. X times one again is gonna fit into this horizontal space right here. So we're almost done. So we did X times X gives me X squared. We did X times one, X times one, we did X times one, X times one, X times one. But now what we're doing in this little tiny space over here is one times one. What's one times one? If I have a plus one here and a plus one here, when they cross, what would they get? Well, one times one, of course, is what? One. So it's gonna fit into that space. So you can imagine that into all the rest of the little spaces, is gonna be singular one squares, positive ones. Every time you finish a problem, there should be a perfectly, uh, perfectly shaped rectangle in your white space. And what is in your white space when I multiply the length times the width, um, which is another way that we could refer to the x plus two and the x plus three, the length and the width. Um, now what's inside the white box is your area. So what is the total amount of area that we took up in the white space? So first of all, we took up an x squared, right? So when I'm writing my answer, I would highlight that and I would press x caret squared. And then I'm gonna count up how many X's I have. I have one, two, three, four, 
five x's so I'm gonna say and they were both all positive so plus five x and then we're gonna count our singles we have one two three four five six singles all positive so we're gonna say plus six and that's your answer so you have six problems to do when you're done make sure that you ask your teacher how they would like you to submit Good luck!